You know what? Let's get, let's say, three units on that. Prepare that naval invasion order. Okay, the Executive Intelligence Bureau has been formed. Um, we're just going to go for basic cryptology department, at least for right now. And thank you, Sweden, for the two, uh, two equipment. You've been so gracious to give me. Let's send all of you down to Spain. How are supplies down there? 52 out of 28. Not wonderful. Could be worse, but also, you know, it could be significantly better. Okay, so Brazil is slowly losing a war to the Entente. The Entente's not really helping in the war against the... You think you're going to go to war with the Cairo Pact? Maybe. You got the Heil Commune and the Social Republic of uh, Oman. I mean, apparently, just, yeah, again, no one here really feels confident with an invasion plan. I still see there's nobody in these two ports. They can basically go whenever. I mean, you're still sending the nine. No, don't have nine units on that. Honestly, even four might be a bit too much. Launch now. And honestly, this army can probably also get deleted and just prepare in Dunkirk. And we're going to just land a lot of units in the northern France. Wait, basically, we just got to create as many front lines for the AI as possible. If we wish to see a uh, success. The more front lines the AI has, the less... I mean, we... I'm assuming outnumber them. Roughly 13 million versus at most 4.5. Take these two ports, and again, we're going to have about 44 units, if not more than that, show up over here. Again, just, just weakening France's front line. As much as we can. Okay, Italy has now been uh, completely destroyed. We're going to give all that land, of course, to the Italian Federation. Because I believe they should have cores over all of that. Congratulations to you. No, no template for motorized units, huh? That's okay. Okay, so all of our army, delete this. Come here, and your plan is to push away this way. And then we have pink army. Delete all of your plans. And come here. And you're going to push your way into France like this. Shouldn't be too difficult, I'm hoping. And we got Red Army here as well. We're going to send, of course, all of Red Army over to this front as it was available to us. What do we got? We got an extra research slot. Let's go with Hunt and Destroy. That seems fine. I'm going to have you guys on last stand just for the time being. Our front here should be secure. Um... I guess we can get these guys up north. See if there's anywhere else you maybe can go. Okay, Mexico is a clear war in Central America. Are you part of a faction? No, you're actually, you're not. We got you guys over here distracted. Why are you attacking? I guess we kind of want everyone to be attacking. I mean, that, that's, just, that's just the Entente uh, in every campaign, essentially, is that they're kind of useless. Okay, I'm, get, take, I'm going to take against it. There's no port at all in 
in Europe that we can act or in, not in Europe in Britain that we can attack. No, maybe here, but that'd be about it. Peru, Bolivia did declare war on Chile, and they declared war on the International by proxy. If air superiority in this area, no, but neither do the French right now. It's not a huge deal one way or the other. And let's try to break some French ciphers. It's only going to take 1,600 days. Also, our one unit here did end up dying. Okay, fantastic. Um, well, let's prepare that again. But this time, we'll attack these four states. And we'll, just, we'll launch that whenever it really becomes available to us. Okay, so it looks like we will take over this peninsula. CSA send volunteers over. They have gone for Foster as being leader of the CSA. Oh, even that port has a, uh, a British dude there. What about Plymouth? Is there anybody in Plymouth? No, there actually is not. Do you know what? Green arm? No. Brown army. Make your way over to here. Gonna send a guy from you over to Plymouth. Just one basically trash unit. And we'll see how we can get there um, as well. We are making some progress in Northern France. We can see that the uh, the German AI, or some AI is trying to, you know, make some maneuvers here. Like, how much manpower do you guys have right now? You are currently at 1 million. Um, that's about, a, and you have like 50,000 rifles. Okay, so. Who are you? Oh, you're one of the Red Army units. Okay. That's fine. And they sank all four of my submarines? Yes, they did. How dare you? Let's pull you guys here. Then another three units back. We'll try a naval invasion of, into Plymouth. See if we can actually get that done. And when? How long for you to be done? You'll be done in about like a month or so. Do you need more war propaganda? Yes, we actually do, so let's get that going. Okay, we definitely we can't let the AI take their uh, ports back. Otherwise, we're going to be having a, a a bad time. Let me just put it that way. Is this my unit or is this a Swedish unit? Who's, who, what is this? Send you over. Still in control of our ports. Push these guys all back. Okay, we can actually see that the French, they did land some units. The Entente has finally landed in Spain. They mostly have been spending all their energy trying to kill uh, Brazil. Which, like, I understand, but I don't like it. These troops are trying to land as well. Yeah, like that, that's not gonna work. Pull, pull our unit back out. You know, that, I wanna look at inferiority. Okay, put more planes in this area. We'll put a few more units on this front, say five, and then you will just go here. That seems okay for the time being.
Oh, there's actually been a major breakthrough by the German. Okay, so like all of our little animal invasions, it has paid off in the end. We might not even need Red Army to actually make a naval invasion. I mean, France is at 79%. How much is Brest worth? Brest is worth 15. Like, we do need to take that city at some point. Oh, you're in... Oh, you're in battle. Okay. Well, that's fine for now. And you guys are... You're, you're trying to surround Paris. I, I appreciate that. We will send a... Yeah, we'll, we'll send Red Army in still. Put all our pressure here. We now have our better naval invasion tech. That should help us out in any invasions of Britain in the future. What do we want to research now? Honestly, even get the last upgrade. Just get all of them. Could prove beneficial. I keep trying to bomb my submarines, which is very rude. How many ships are in this area? Or how many, uh... Actually, not that many. I was expecting more uh, fighters or naval bombers or something there. Paris is almost surrounded. Now you're in Flanders. Yeah, don't repair. Repairing's for nerds. We don't need that. We send our entire navy up north. We're gonna set you guys right now to do not engage. Hopefully, maybe you'll avoid being bombed by enemy units. Who knows? Usually, no, the, the Isle of Man is actually defended. They don't usually defend that one. Why did he leave the port? Uh, all of Red Army should deploy here. And you are going to immediately push your way down south. Go for that now and actually be very aggressive with it. We do need to at least control the port. Don't lose control of the port. Actually, you know what? Don't be very aggressive. I think I maybe jumped the gun a little bit too much there. Let's go for regular, regular aggressiveness levels. And France is definitely starting to lose steam. It seems like, God, how many men are they? They have so many men everywhere. We might, need to send, we might need to send, like, a sacrificial army into, um, into Britain. That's essentially just there to die. We got one Canadian unit, but they're already dead. Yeah, I think it might be time for Operation Sacrificial Lamb. So congratulations to this army. You are part of Operation Sacrificial Lamb. So we're basically just going to send, uh, let's, let's say, I mean, how, we have 61 million manpower, we have 76,000 rifles in storage, we should be okay. And then after that, we're hoping that these units will then move their way north. And to go deal with Operation Sacrificial Lamb, and then we just attack them. That to me seems like it can make a lot of sense. I mean, France right now, how close are they? They are... Well, they're not that close to capitulation, but it's mostly because we still need to take Paris, I believe. So Paris right now, it is surrounded. And actually, you know, if you attack this province, maybe get a, we might be able to get a small surround here. How do you guys do you guys feel confident with an attack? Apparently you guys down here do.
And how long for this army to be ready? It's going to take them 53 days. The West Indies Union has decided to join the International. You know what? I think this might be probably the wrong time for you to do that. I mean, if you look at the situation in Europe right now, I would have recommended you not to do that. Yeah, so it looks like at least, um, well, they're actually preparing to go to war with New England. Which will be done actually in like two weeks. That'll, mean, that'll bring out war with the Entente. So if they're at war with the Entente, will they, will they join the International? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, but Paris still has not fallen. They're surrounded, but they haven't fallen. The Pope's an assassination attempt on the Pope. Oh, so we do have some tanks. Might as well get like seven tank divisions ready to go, just in case, even though I don't know if we'll need it. You push your way down south, take those southern cities. Paris, I mean, it's surrounded. And are you guys now... Yeah, you're now independent. We'll see what you end up wanting to do. Oh, they just immediately declare war with one another. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. How many men do we got? Find us around here. Because without Paris, the French definitely are not going to capitulate. They're at 47 right now. Yeah, everybody come up here to surround this city. Okay, Taking more to say, the Chilean Argentinian War has happened now a second time. Or at least the events fired a second time. But Argentina, welcome back. And it looks like you've done the decision to completely break apart Brazil. So it looks uh, a little bit like a mess. Do we have the air superiority? Yes, we do. But we need it actually over you as well. Where's my other fighters? Bring everyone just over to the English Channel. And try to destroy all of the naval bombers in the area. I mean, have we taken Lyon? The answer is not yet, but if we take Lyon, that basically should be the end of France. They're, they're basically already dead. And are you guys ready to go for Oper Operation Sacrificial Lamb? Not quite. You're still preparing. It'll only take like another week or so, though, so that shouldn't be too bad. And you're going to go to war with the Entente in like three days. And I don't know if you being at the war with the Entente allows you to join the Internationale. It might. Oh, poor France. They're just having a tough time right now. Are you part of the Reich's Pact? Yes, Spain is part of the Reich's Pact. And we are now shooting down... Or we're attempting to shoot down the enemy uh, bombers here. This little pocket has basically been dealt with. The war, as far as I'm concerned, is basically over. Is that enough for them to capitulate? Yes, it is. Okay, goodbye, France. And, of course, we're going to hit them immediately with that, um... Is there not a bond to reduce French legitimacy? The coming of France to defeat, we've been asked to turn control over the German Empire. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Doesn't really matter what uh who controls them as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's bring you up north. Let's bring you here. Yeah, basically, let's bring everybody to the front lines. And it looks like we actually are still moving troops into Portugal. Okay, 
Okay, so it's like Germany's trying to land troops up north. Operation Sacrificial Lamb. I mean, they're going to get killed in a moment for sure. I mean, actually, we're looking at Portsmouth. There's nobody in Portsmouth right now, I think. Nope, there are definitely people in Portsmouth. You know what? Okay, hold off on this for a second. Intelligence. You know what? Sure, why not? I don't think I've actually done anything with my spy yet, but you know, that's not a big deal. Okay, thank you guys for the equipment. Really appreciate it. Newcastle's actually undefended right now. So, you know, what? Operation Sacrificial Lamb, you might not need to actually sacrifice yourself. We can just land in uh, the north here instead. I mean, we could land... I mean, how fast would we build a naval base? Hypothetically speaking, if we were to build a naval base, it would take us... 23rd... A little over one month. Because we don't, we don't have that many civilian factories, huh? It's not really. Okay, but you guys are landing up north now. Send you down south. And then all of this army is now going to deploy up here. Delete this plan. You're already in a... Okay, no, yeah. You're already in a port province. Lovely. Your job is, hey, push away south. And you just go normal battle plan for now. I don't think you need to be too crazy. Reinforcements coming. And then Operation Sacrificial Lamb, and now Operation Just Invade like East Anglia. I believe it's what this area is called. And I feel like that's going to be a much happier assignment for you since you don't get killed immediately. When are you leaving? Now? Okay. Launch the invasion. We need to send all of our aircraft now into England. You guys are looking fine, so let's send yours out in England as well. Like, there might be a lot of uh, British troops. Your job is now push away this way. Get that going. And we can probably even get more naval invasions to work. Like, if we send Green Army down, let's say, to Portsmouth. We'll see if the British end up taking troops off of this front, which they might still, they might do. Okay, let's get you going. How is, um... They're, they're doing okay, I would say. Canada. They're, they're at least holding on, which is better than I would have expected. And are you the last major power here? Yeah, as far as I can tell, you are the last major country. London has fallen. A glorious day for, uh... By the way, did the, did the Kaiser not die? No, he's now Wilhelm III. But we're still Wilhelm II. <laughs> so, the eternal German uh, Emperor. Just hanging out, doing what he wants. Portsmouth. What about over here? 
know, actually, Cardiff and Bristol is actually undefended right now. I like Bryn's not long for this world. Might as well get 1944 equipment. Thank you for all of your stuff. And that's now already outdated. I mean, how close is Bryn to capitulate? And they, they've got to be reasonable. I mean, actually, they're still like more than halfway. It's like, Bryn, I, I feel like you should realize that you've already lost. They have immediately sent reinforcements over here. I mean, you, we landed one unit. That's cool. Okay, green army now. You're all going to deploy here. Get off of this front. Is there anyone else still in Europe? Let's take Lisbon. These guys down here are stuck and are just going to die. We might, as well, we might as well spy on what the British are doing. You know, while we're in the area. Wait a second. Eh, war propaganda seems okay. Portugal now exists once again. Apparently, I guess they gave that territory to the Entente. More than I would have done for them, but... You know, it is what it is. Push here. Your current capital right now is in lead. I guess you guys don't have a battle plan anymore. Um, I guess just go to Wales and you're going to push your way south, I guess. I don't know really where else you would want to go. What about you guys? You're just... Oh, you're just down here, huh? Why don't you come up... To this area and you're just gonna push it away to there I guess it really doesn't really matter so much and then you guys are you're also okay no yeah you're also in Europe or in the mainland I guess I should say you're gonna try to push away down here just send as many men as you possibly can to Britain I take Glasgow. Birmingham's gonna fall. Bristol will fall. Um, we should, I think, get, yeah, get us around on uh, Portsmouth. Get us around on these units here. Wipe them all out. Yeah, Birmingham shouldn't last too long, I would say. Convoys. Convoys seem fun. And Red Army doesn't have a plan anymore. Red Army, you're just going to go to here. Actually, no. Yes. Actually, let's look, let's look at you for a second. I'm going to get military access for you. But I, no, I'm not at war with you. Right. But I don't actually need to send troops over to fight the CSA. It doesn't actually matter so much. And everyone should basically just be attacking. The British are having a pretty hard time with things right now. And I mean, if you look at our Belgrade Pact, the Reich's Pact, looking, it's looking pretty good. It's a pretty good looking Reich's Pact. Get all this stuff done. 
Now got a little surround on Bristol. Actually, a lot of men in Portsmouth. Like, more than is even reasonable. There's actually like 33 divisions down there. Way more than was reasonable. Put a lot of men in Liverpool. Put a lot of fire into Leeds. Because Britain, they've got it. They're, they're close. They're close to dying. Not quite there yet. And Peru Bolivia is actually about to die. We'll see if they actually end up living or not. I mean, if we fight against you, we'll get the surround that we needed on Liverpool. Is there any more cities up here? I mean, there's a couple of cities uh, worth five, eight, and so we got nine victory points up here, which we might as well try to take. One forty-one. You all target this guy. Get two more encirclements. Do we need Plymouth? No, I, I think just uh, either Liverpool or Leeds might be enough. Now we've got a lot of uh, a, a nice round here. I mean, Leeds is worth fifteen. Liverpool is worth twenty-five. Paul is worth 10. So yeah, just between these three cities, we should have enough. And Liverpool's down. And with that, the second Villa Creek now over. Well, pass, 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 pass. Britain, of course, is mine. Uh, Germany can have... Uh, Germany can control France. And Canada, because I'm feeling nice. Uh, where even is Canada? Canada. You can have the West Indies Union and who should get Chile? Probably the Canadians because Peru Bolivia is about to like, get completely destroyed. So I don't think it makes any sense for them to get it. They didn't really do much in the war. But we now control the government. Well, the Chinese government now controls Britain in a in a twist of fate. Okay, let's create a loyal British government. Did, did Italy have any claims in this area? I don't think there are any claims over... Uh... Over France. No, they did not. But we now have the British Republic led by Anthony Lodovinci. Welcome, welcome. They actually don't have like any uh, any unique focuses here at all. We'll probably see you release France fairly soon. But I would say that, you know, it's a pretty successful campaign, all things considered. We'll see, uh, France, maybe actually the French, um, National France, French Republic, I don't remember which one they were. They can join the Reichspact, but no, we're just going to create a second France now. A new France controlled by Germany. A French kingdom led by Queen Victoria Louis I. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, no, the, the Reich's pack's looking pretty good. The Entente, and they, they gotta fight the CSA. We don't have to fight the CSA at all. I guess they're also fighting higher bad, but... I mean, yeah, you're fighting... You're fighting more people than I'm fighting. So... To me, that seems okay. But with that victory 
over. I wish I could kind of give Russia this territory here because it looks a little bit messy being part of Germany. But with uh, with the second Valkyrie being over, it's probably a good time for us to end the Kaiser Redux 